Hey everyone, welcome back to Lyrical Resonance, where we believe that where words fail, music speaks. We're continuing, Buried Above, right? That's what we're here for. Buried Above self-titled debut album just dropped, and we're continuing getting through this entire album. Uh, this might be the last song that posts tonight, um, but we're going to have some more coming through later today, so keep an eye on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, because videos for this album are just going to keep coming out. Anyway, uh, this is the song Already Written, featuring Don Michelle of Fireflight. I'm really excited to hear what these two do together. So, uh, if this is your first time watching, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time. If you enjoy what you see as we go through this, I'd ask you to like the video, maybe even leave a couple comments, and if you really enjoy it by the end, make sure you're subscribed to stay up to date with all the videos, because we're words fail music does speak and we're going to continue listening to what it has to say so let's do that with buried above and their song already written oh i love it already time signature is perfect Oh. oh man, come on. Ah, Don. All right, before I before I let this go much further, I got to I got to stop and just comment. Uh that chorus is huge man that sounded so good and i really loved how you had those breaks in the instrumentation with the exception of the drums in your voice just absolutely flawlessly executed man this is oh i love number one it's a power ballad and it sounds a sounds dynamite but the time signature man you've got that six eight time signature and i'm here for it i love that so much ah <sighs> gosh i love this this is fantastic <sighs> all right let's he let's hear what don says now sorry I'll, i probably i don't know if i'll stop again so far top notch Oh man, that orchestration behind there sounds great. Ooh. Oh, and the harmonization, come on. Oh. Good grief, that, that synth and this 
fantastic. Oh. Ooh. Oh, come on, build it, man. Oh, gosh. Come on, man. Oh, yes. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna have a bruise on my leg. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it or see it, but man, with some of those builds and the way that just played through, I'm like over here just punching my leg, man. That was so wonderful. Um, it is gonna be really hard for another song to top that one for me. Um, I was I was almost like I was misty eyed listening to that the first time they went through um, the the like second half of the chorus I just man it it hit me right it's such a powerful phrasing um, I mean the 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 chorus on its own the the first one as long as my heart is beating as long as I'm still breathing I will not walk through the darkness alone. I'll follow your voice till I make it back home. But then you have, you told me I was forgiven, that my story is already written. The silence was broken when you called my name. My heart was awoken and now I believe. I There's so many, so many ways that hit so hard. Um, you know, all I know is falling to pieces. Um, I want to believe your, your love runs deeper than I can see. And I, can we, can we help but think of the prodigal son with this song, right? That, that's where my brain naturally goes, is the story of the prodigal son, um, which is fantastic. Um, that, that whole story is so interesting where you have, I mean, it's a story of two sons, really. We focus on the prodigal son because he is, he is the focus of the story. Um, and the other son, while important, is not really where my mind is going with this. It's, it's, the, it's the prodigal who... Um, you know, this, I kind of feel like this, this song takes place in that moment where he finds himself in the pig pen, like considering, am I going to eat the same slop that these pigs eat? And it's just, I found myself wasting away. How long till I am actually gone? Right. I, when I see myself in the mirror, I'm not who I want to see anymore. It's not who I thought I would see. I'm only familiar with falling to pieces. So my, my heart's, but here, but here's the thing. I, I want to believe that your love is, is deeper than, than who I've been, than, is deeper than the mistakes I've made. So as long as my heart's beating, as long as I'm still breathing, I'm going to trust that I'm not alone. I'm going to follow you until I make it back home. So you have the story of the prodigal son. Um, you know what? Let me just pull it up. Let me just give me a second. Let me just pull it up. Okay? Hang tight. So in, in the story of the prodigal son, you have uh, a wealthy man who's got two sons. And one of his sons, the younger of them, says to his dad, give me my inheritance now. I don't want to wait for you to die. Give it to me now. Like, I wish you were dead so I could have it now, basically is what he said. So the father does. That's, the, that's crazy that the father does. But then, so he goes and he squanders everything he ever has and ends up basically having to work feeding pigs for a living, which for a Jewish person would have been, 
uh, reprehensible, right? And so he's he's feeding pigs for a living. And it says in Luke chapter 15, verse 16, it says, He longed to fill his stomach with the pods that the pigs were eating, but no one gave him anything. Now this is where this gets interesting. I feel like this is kind of where the song picks up. When he came to his senses, he said, How many of my father's hired men have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against you and against heaven. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired men. So he got up and went to his father. Now this is the important part. And this is where I think um, the course, particularly um, the second course, um, that you told me I was forgiven, my story is already written, the silence was broken, when you called my name, my heart was awoken, and now I believe. I believe this is kind of where that picks up. So it says in verse uh, 20, While he was still a long way off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him, and he ran to his son, threw his arms around him, and kissed him. Then the son tries to go through with the rehearsed speech that he had where he's going to say, Father, I've sinned against heaven and against you. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Now, I think that might be what this is about. And if that's the case, man, I mean, even if it's not what that's about, that's where my brain goes. I think the prodigal son and how we're never at a point where Jesus goes, nah, I'm done with you, right? Like Jesus doesn't do that. And so as long as our heart is beating, as long as there's breath in our lungs, we have a reason for living. And Jesus is just waiting for us to find him, right? Like he believes if we're searching for him, eventually we'll find him. If we're searching for truth, eventually we're going to land at Jesus, right? He said he was the truth, right? And so, man, I, this was such a perfect song. I'm, I'm giving this a hearty, solid 10 out of 10. I mean, I, I'd even go higher than that, man. This was so good. Um, and I really don't know how any other song on this album, having not heard them except for The Nation's Fall, I don't know how any of them are going to top this for me. And I'm, I'm so excited to continue the journey, though. So that, that's where I'm at with this wonderful song. Yeah, great. Uh, let me know what you thought about it on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being terrible, 10 being amazing, because I want to hear from you. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, leave some comments. Let me know. Uh, if there are songs you think I should be getting into, let me know in the comments as well. Or you can email me at lyrical.resonance.ia at gmail.com. I will... It might take me a minute, but eventually I'll, I'll take take a look at and I'll respond if nothing else. Um, and uh, yeah, th this was really good. You can also find me on Facebook through the link in the description. Um, but there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you taking the time. Uh, if you liked what we're about here, if you like this journey we're, we're on, that excuse me, um, then like the videos, obviously, but then also leave some comments even if you're just saying hi. And if you really enjoy this, hit subscribe, turn on the notification to, uh, to stay up to date with all the videos because where words fail, music does speak and we're going to continue listening to what it has to say here at Lyrical Resonance. The next song we're getting into is Sweet Misery. So whether I see you over there or on another video, as always, stay safe and be blessed. We'll see you soon.